Oh hey, didn't see you there. Holly, say hello. Um, we are going to have a little squiz through my closet, so let's go. This is my studio slash wardrobe slash workstation. A film room slash everything. This is my space. These are a few pieces. I'm quite a sentimental person. A piece that you really experience an amazing moment in, you know, you gotta keep them. So this is this rail for me. I have, for example, this dress I wore for mine and Jamie's engagement shoot. So this stays over here. Um, these are birthday dresses and Often these dresses I either will have made or I'll order them in from overseas, so they're special pieces to me. This dress over here, this gown was my graduation gown that I wore. Oh wow. Graduated a year ago already, that's crazy. So anyway, my most recent dress and most special is the dress I wore to my engagement party. So. This is a custom-made gown, um, super classic, timeless. Went for an elegant, simple look, but I'm super happy with how it turned out. And yeah, that's that. Oh, oh really? I know, let's set out the obvious. There's blazers, blazers that are cropped blazers that are just a standard cut. These must be the pieces I've had in my closet for the longest. When I get dressed in the in our main bedroom, I come over here, if I need something to like zhuzh my outfit up a bit, throw on a blazer, like I did today. Linen trousers, bodysuit. <laughs> okay, throw on a blazer, it elevates your look. So that's my go-to. This pair over here. Love the hat, first of all, almost like a kitten heel hat. But this wooden feature, the gold, is just a stunning heel. I love the attention to detail. And the strap, I mean, beautiful colour. These are just a beautiful pair. So in the meantime, to satisfy my designer handbag, dreams and wishes. I have started my own little collection over here. They are all beautiful and unique and I love each one. So I'll take you through them. This Michael Kors I purchased for myself as a birthday gift one year. Then these two are actually, I got, this is a Kurt Geiger from London. Um, I absolutely love this bag. This I wear all the time. It is a staple, I mean, it's just one of those bags. I purchased this in Heathrow Airport and let me tell you, duty free makes a difference. I got a nice chunk off of this bag because in an airport, you don't pay for the tax. So, little tip for you, purchase a designer handbag, do it in an airport. This is my latest purchase. This is by Zach Posen. This I actually found online. Um, I ordered this for our engagement party. I when I saw it, it was just like the perfect bag. Let me show you my dress though. Do you see? You see what I had in mind? <laughs> it just worked seamlessly. I wanted to pair a bag with this dress because I didn't want to look too bridal at our engagement party and I felt like this was the perfect bag to do so. I used to be that girl. I always smelled the same. I always had the same fragrance. And I'm still happy with that. This one over here, Midnight Rose by Lancome. We will try to say Tresor. That's what it says over there, but I'm not French. I wish I was, but anyway. Smells divine. This is just, I wish you could smell it. It's so good. But this fragrance, I always end up going back to it. You can see Shame, she, she's finished. Then another favorite at the moment is C by Giorgio Armani. This is a beautiful scent. I feel like it would suit everyone. It's just one of those scents that are versatile. It works for day, it works for night. It's just one of those goodies to have. This is Barfly. This is by Scotch and Soda. 
this fragrance was actually bought in Amsterdam. Jamie went to Amsterdam this year and he went to the original Scotch and Soda store and got this. It is, it's beautiful. It's very unisex, um, quite a strong scent, but it is really, really stunning. And a scent like this, I mean, at the end of the day, scents are probably the most sentimental Thing that we have so associating a moment or memory or person with a scent is super special so this one I use sparingly because it's special to me but yes the rest are they're all amazing I love them yeah <laughs> denims they're the foundation of your closet. I don't think I'll ever change my mind on that. A good pair of denims will get you through anything. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. They got you, right? So a few of my favorite pairs. I must say Levi's is an all-time winner for me. They are good quality. They are hardy. They fit the body nicely. This pair I've had for a good amount of time, I must say. Um, I like the high-waisted fit because personally it's flattering on my body shape so those are my go-to right there and then to speak about the space this space kind of I wanted it to be a reflection of me but also still be a space that kind of would be a little bit timeless as you can see there's not too many colors around here um, I would like to think of myself as somewhat of a minimalist. As I get older, it's coming out more and more in me, but I love the minimal, kind of raw, sleek aesthetic. Hey, Harley, you enjoy having guests over. <laughs> this is my space. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you perhaps got some inspiration. Find me on YouTube and Instagram, and hopefully I'll see you there soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.